Today, we're in Leicester, where we're visiting the best and worst rated Mexican restaurants you'll find in the city. I feel like we're pretty good at foreign cuisine in England, whether that's Chinese, Indian, Italian, but Mexican, I'm not quite sure. So I'm interested today to see whether these highly rated Mexican restaurants in Leicester can prove the doubters wrong. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. What would you recommend? A burrito. Papi Chula is a big burrito. Chicken is spicy. And smoky bean roasted vegetable is the vegetarian option. May I get a chicken papi chulo and a smoky bean and roasted vegetable papi chulo, please? Could we also get some nachos, please? What is better than one big warm burrito? How about two big warm burritos. All of the amazing flavors, but instead of on a plate, it's wrapped up in a nice tortilla. Now it's crazy how good the vegetarian option actually is at Viva El Burrito. The smoky Mexican spices carry so much depth and flavor and coupled with the fluffy rice, the guacamole and the sour cream and all the different ingredients, you really don't miss the meat at all. And if you do really need meat in your burrito, mm, then I can confirm that the pulled chicken is very, very good. Viva el burrito means long live the burrito in Spanish. Although in my hands, I don't know how long this burrito is gonna live for. So we've been in the Viva el burrito business for the past seven years. We don't freeze anything and nothing is artificial. To me, customers are my, like my family, take pride in providing good service. And of course, you can't go to a Mexican eatery without getting the nachos. It's like going to a theme park and not going on a roller coaster. Now, it might sound a weird thing to pick out, but the paprika, it's got a smoky and rich depth to it. Almost as if I've never tried paprika before now. Guacamole is something that's hard to get wrong, but just as hard to get right. But this is perfectly salted, a beautiful zest of lime running through it, and these tortilla chips are the perfect shovel. Paprika, paprika, paprika. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. yes, we're back soon. It was time to move on from the best rated Mexican restaurant to the worst. As it turns out, Taco Bell is the worst rated Mexican fast food restaurant in Leicester. Okay, so up first we have the seven layer burrito. It contains black beans, lettuce, tomatoes, seasoned Mexican rice. Obviously a little bit sad and unexciting compared to the Viva El Burrito burrito, but let's not judge a book by its cover. It's all right. I mean, it's all right. It's all a bit homogenous. You can't pick out the individual components of the burrito. It's all right, just not much compared to the other Mexican restaurants you can visit in the area. Now we've got something that might make many a Mexican cry. We've got the naked chicken taco, where the chicken is the taco. I don't know what more else to say other than by taking a bite, so... You know what? I quite like it. It's like a guilty pleasure. <laughs> okay, it's not as fresh and healthy as maybe Viva El Burrito, but it's the type of thing that after a night out, you might come and you might actually decide you, you, you want to eat. Yeah, I have no idea how they make this. So I couldn't finish the video on that blasphemous taco. So we're headed to another highly rated Mexican restaurant where hopefully they're serving up some more authentic tacos. I can't find this place. Well, Google is saying it's open. Google's now asking me if this place is open. I think it's probably closed. I mean, we don't really need two good Mexican restaurants. We've, we've got Viva El Burrito already. So there we go. The best rated Mexican restaurant in Leicester and the worst rated Mexican restaurant in Leicester. And a Mexican restaurant that doesn't even exist anymore. So what's the verdict? The key differences stretch beyond the food even. It's the customer service and the ambience of the restaurant. Taco Bell serves a purpose, I guess. It's not especially cheaper and it's not made with the same love, care and attention that you'll find in a place like Viva El Burrito. And when you visit Viva El Burrito, you don't leave feeling a little bit dirty after you've had a chicken taco where the taco is the chicken. But I'm still hungry, so shall we go back to Viva El Burrito?